Hey guys and welcome back to this short series on using iMovie for iPads. This week we're going to be working with audio and looking at adding music and sound effects and voiceovers to our movies. I've got a few examples to share with you first and then we're going to have a look at how to achieve different effects through music, sound effects and voiceovers. So I've got this video clip from last time um, which is just a kind of shot of waves crashing against the shore uh, and I've got three different versions of the same clip um, with different sound effects and different music to go with each one. So the first one is kind of a dreamy kind of picturesque landscape, uh, nice and calm and peaceful. Uh, I've got some music, some sound effects in here as well. Next one is more of a kind of dramatic feel to it. A uh, little bit of tension, a little bit of suspense, and you can see that I've added a different filter to this video clip and different music as well. And I've just brought the volume of those sound effects down. And the last one is more of a kind of Hollywood smoothie, blockbuster action <laughs> kind of shot um, with some music from Hans Zimmer, lovely. So I'm just starting with a new project here so we can go through the steps and how to achieve some different effects. And as I mentioned before, I'm just using this video that I got from Pixabay uh, in one of the previous videos. And it's just a nice shot of the waves crashing against the shore. So we're gonna use that a few times. So I'm just gonna add that clip in um, twice more so we can achieve those three different effects. There's another one and one more. There we go. So the first one that I created was kind of a dreamy landscape, um, nice and peaceful and calm. So I'm going to start with adding some sound effects to this first clip here. And I already downloaded a few from Pixabay, which you can see here. I'm going to use this one called Gentle Ocean Waves. And you can see that it appears in green in the timeline at the bottom. And if we play, we should be able to hear that. Quite quiet at the moment. We've got some gentle kind of ocean wave sounds uh, to go with our video. Now, it appears in green, which means this is going to be in the background, but actually I'm going to move this to the foreground, which changes it to blue, because when I add the music in a moment, then that's going to be the background sound. So let's go to audio and we'll go to soundtracks. And you can see that the music is categorized into different sections here. So we've got height, pop, um, playful and the one I chose earlier was from this chill section here is this one dreaming uh, which is a nice kind of ambient soundtrack to go with this video so let's add that in so we've now got the combination of um, sound effects of the waves and a nice gentle soundtrack as well let's see what those sound like together Great, so at the moment the music's a little bit quiet, so I'm just going to tap on that and go to the volume section. I'm just going to raise it up a little bit above 100% uh, to see what that sounds like. Let's have another listen. That's good, so now the music's a bit clearer. You've got that balance right, but you can play around with that and see, uh, see how that works. Excellent. Now the other thing I can do to add to the mood and the atmosphere here is to tap on this clip and to choose a, a filter that goes with that. And if you look along here, I've got a few different ones as we saw in a previous video. Uh, this one dreamy here adds a nice effect that I think matches well with the, the kind of vibe of the music. So let's uh, have a look, see what that looks like. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy with that. Okay, so let's, um, I'm just going to um, trim this down a little bit here so it just matches with that first clip. And we'll do the same for the music as well. There we go. Okay, so let's have a look at the next clip and we can try and change the mood and the atmosphere of this with the music and the sound effects that we use as well. So let's go back to soundtracks. And if I just go down to the very bottom, uh, this is the one I used earlier called Field Report, which was a bit more dramatic. I might want to change that volume later on, but we'll see how it sounds. And I'm gonna use this same um, sound effects again, but I'm gonna make it a little bit quieter this time because we want the music to be the main focus of this clip and to create that drama. 
So let's bring the volume down uh, of the sound effects and we'll see how that sounds. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna to need to bring the volume of the music right up like we did before. There we go. So we can still hear the sound of the waves in the background, quite low down, quite quiet, and the music is the real focus. Now we can also add a filter to this clip um, to add to that dramatic effect as well. I'm gonna use Blast for this one. You can see it kind of darkens it, livens it up a little bit. Okay, nice. And finally, um, we created a quite a um, blockbuster type feel to this last clip earlier. Um, and I used uh, this here, this soundtrack by Hans Zimmer, very famous film composer. Um, so I'm gonna add that in here. Oops, it's just replaced the other one. So let me, uh, let me try that again. We'll, um, we'll narrow this down. We'll just cut that down to the first uh, the second clip there, and then we can add hands in there. Let's have a look. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, very uh, inspiring music there. We're going to lift that up a little bit here, and I'm not going to include any sound effects in this last one. I think it works without it. And again, we might want to change the filter. Uh, let's use the Blockbuster filter, seems appropriate. You notice as well that iMovie automatically adjusts the length of the music to match with the video clip as well, which is something I really like. So there we go, we've got three very different feeling um, clips there with different music. Um, there is also a sound effects section in iMovie. Um, quite limited really, there's not so much available here. We might want something like uh, maybe some seagulls in there for that first one. We'll just bring that sound down a little bit so it's not too overpowering. Yeah, that's quite nice as well. But you can go back to Pixabay, check the music section, check the sound effects section, and then you can download anything that you might want to add to your video project. Uh, one last thing on audio um, is this tool here, which is the voiceover tool. Uh, so you can check that the, the microphone's connected that's working here. You'll see that red section is where it's being recorded over the top. Let's stop there. So that will be, uh, that'll be my voice in there for recording one. So you can either now just cancel that and start again, uh, retake it, just have another go at doing it, um, review, uh, so listen well. to the recording. See that red section. There you go. And if you're happy with it, then you can press accept. And then you've got all the normal adjustments down here, such as cutting uh, the, the track, changing the speed, changing the volume. So there we go. There's a quick guide to using audio in iMovie, adding music and sound effects and voiceovers to your projects. Next time, we're going to be looking at the green screen feature and how you can remove backgrounds to create some different effects in your projects. So see you next time.